Walmart in the news again, huh? I told you some time ago, especially you've been listening to me for any length of time whatsoever at all, that Walmart was going to be the distribution center for the New World Order. I called it 15 years ago, and I ain't changed my mind one bit. These are devils. That's what they are. You know, what's remarkable and amazing about this thing is, is that many of you, you just cannot stop shopping at China Market. You just can't, you can't do it because of the prices and all this other stuff. You buy good quality clothing, you don't have to go back four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times a year and buy the cheap stuff. That's just the truth. But, hey, I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play this because everybody seems to be having a little bit of trouble with copyrights infringement nowadays. But I want you to listen to this news source right here. Listen to what Walmart they say. Walmart calls it the latest high-tech way to keep track of its inventory. But other Walmart is a liar. It is not a high-tech way to keep track of the inventory. It's to keep track of you and they're practicing on you. Others say it could allow the store to spy on people who buy their clothes there. Money editor John Delano got to the bottom of what this is all about. He joins us live with more, John. Well, Christine, this is a case where there's a bit of truth in both what Walmart says and those who have raised concerns. Walmart ain't never telling the truth at all. There ain't no bit of truth. What do you mean, bit of truth? Either it's the truth or it's not the truth. See these double-tongued serpents, how they talk? No, Walmart is lying. That's what they're doing. They flat out lying because they're liars. Watch this. Listen, listen. After reports first surfaced that Walmart was putting an electronic chip in some of its clothing items, the company moved quickly today to allay concerns that they were spying on anybody. You better believe it. They got their paid lawyers that they pay a lot of moolah to. A whole bunch of moolah to. To lie for them. To do damage control. Now, Walmart is just like our Congress. Liars. Anyway, keep listening. But it's clear that Walmart customers are not happy about this latest advance in technology. It's called an EPC or electronic product code and Walmart says it's a sophisticated inventory management tool to track the clothes it sells. But privacy advocates say unless the customer removes the tag on their own, Walmart could determine the location of your clothes even after you leave the store. See it's a tracking device. It's a human tracking device and, and I'm telling you they are in cahoots with Esalon they are in cahoots with the people who spy on you I mean it is utterly amazing I keep telling you big brother I don't know how much it's going to take for you people to listen I really truly don't I, I mean but anyway we'll go on with the story though we'll listen to it you have your uh, your problems with your identity theft and you know people get into your personal business now they're going to track your clothes no, I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable with that at all. It's a common reaction from most Walmart customers. No, I don't like that idea whatsoever. Absolutely not. You know, you can see these people are saying they don't like the idea, but they ain't going to do nothing about it. They're not going to vote with their pocketbook. They're not going to vote with their feet because they got to go to the store with the cheap prices to put the cheap junk on their body and in their mouth. you got to change your mindset. Walmart is not what Sam Walton try to make this thing years ago. Walmart has opted in to communism, socialism, fascism, and they're following the same policies, same policies as our good men. And they are spying on you. As a matter of fact, they are part of the government to spy on you. It's called Big Brother. Listen. That's pretty much Big Brother. That is just invading people's privacy. Walmart wouldn't let us in their store to shoot some pictures, so I went in and bought some of the products that are likely to have the EPC, or so-called smart tag. Products like jeans, or how about some underwear, or even a lady's camisole. Walmart says the EPC will help stores know when items are running low on their ship. That's a lie. That's a crock of crap. Notice, you don't know, like Obama said. If they, well, hey, if they ain't got nothing to hide, why don't they let the reporters into the store? Huh? But the reporters are smarter than them dummies. They actually had to go around and buy the clothing themselves to see it for themselves. But see, this, we, we are something else in this country. You remember a country a long time ago used to be called America? What should we call ourselves today? Especially when we funding this giant 
called Walmart, who has done went global. They have a global agenda. And now they're spying on you. They're in your house. I don't have one stitch of clothing that comes from Walmart. I can't remember. No, not one. I may have a pair of socks. But as far as clothes, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Them boogers ain't spying on me. You could be sitting there in your shower, in your bedroom, and they got a chip inside of this particular clothing and stuff. And any time they could flip it because the thing's so small, may have a camera watching all, looking all up in your house, looking all in you. Man, I'll tell you, it, it is off the chain, isn't it? Let's finish this. And customers can always remove the tag later on. But it's a removable tag. Does that make it better? No, I, I no. I, it's just easier if you can come and buy whatever you need and leave, not have to worry about taking a tag off. Ben Peters buys jeans at Walmart, and he says he has no problem with the smart tag up to a point. I don't know if they want to track me. As long as they're not transmitting something into my, my body, I don't really care. <laughs> no, he don't really care. You know why? Because he's 17 years old. You can look at him. He don't know what in the hell is going on. He has no idea what's going on. He's probably done been to the government institutions called public school. Been trained very well. You could probably ask him who Hitler is. He won't know who he is. He has no idea. As long as you don't go into my body. But then he puts fluoride. I guarantee he brushes with fluoride every morning. I guarantee he gets his flu shot every year. I guarantee he's been shot up with snake venom and monkey pus. And he's actually thinking that he's intelligent because he's in front of a camera. And that he's functioning out the self-autonomy of what you call independent thinking, self-government. He actually thinks he's intelligent, but he don't understand how foolish he sounds by giving a double, double tongue statement like this in front of the camera, cheesing and gleaning and stuff. I, it's off the chain. Let's go. We're almost done. <laughs> well, uh, do you think they should know where your underwear is? Uh, probably not my underwear. I guess yeah, see, and probably not his underwear. It's all right if it's everybody else's underwear, but probably not his underwear. See. They, they interview buffoons, people who don't know what's going on. They never talk to nobody like us. Huh? That, that's why we're here talking to you. Let's go on and finish this. Walmart insists that it doesn't really care where its products go after it leaves the store. A spokesman told me clothing with the chip will be clearly labeled so customers can remove it. And they've asked their suppliers not to embed the chip in the clothing. And Walmart says even if someone had the right Walmart scanner, it only works within 15 feet of the smart tag, making long-distance tracking impossible. Live in the newsroom, I'm John Delano. That is a lie. Walmart most of you people out there, device. most of you people out there, don't even know that your cell phone is a tracking device. You know, Sister Carol and I, we go places, and if we're not going to be using our phone, and if we don't want nobody really truly where we at at a particular time and stuff, you know what we do? We actually take the battery out of our phone. And even then, there's no guarantee that we're still not being tracked because, you know, they got things, technology is just off the chain nowadays that you don't even know about. I mean, it's unreal. Look at your cities, cameras on every corner, about every stop sign, jacking you with more taxation without representation. Oh, we really care about having a civil society. So now you end up rear-ending each other at these stoplights that's got these unconstitutional cameras causing all types of insurance damage and wrecks and damaging people's body. Why? All for the tumor moolah money. Man, you can't trust Walmart. You can't trust the news media. You can't trust the government. You can't trust none of this stuff. You know what you people need to do? You need to educate yourself. You really truly do. And you need to start using this brain, something that y'all put between your head, and start thinking. And I understand that we're up against a tall order here nowadays because, I mean, how can you actually venture out to think when you've been genetically modified? I mean, the foods have no nutritional value to them whatsoever at all. It's hard to function. We're vitamin D deficient, vitamin C deficient, vitamin E deficient. Everything about us is deficient because, you see, it's all about control. It's easier to control a population that is dumb, drooling at the mouth, sick, and, and dependent and and always think that they're entitled it's easy to control them but you know what it is biblically and sociably impossible to enslave a bible reading people and that's the truth and that's the truth straightway wake up